my best loadout for this beautiful pirate gladius behind you, starting now. Alright guys, starting out under its wings, I have M4A cannons, the laser cannons for a little bit of uh, extra DPS to punch a little higher above your weight class. And then for the missile racks, I put on two MSD 341s. The other ones already came with it, which gives you a total of 16 rockets. In front, I changed out the Gatlin to just the regular old Badger repeater, just to give a little extra faster hits on your target. Balance out the cannons. If you've seen my bills, I like to mix repeaters and cannons. All right, let's look at the components here. We have FR-66 shields, those are the best you could get, the Breton power plants, we kept the coolers the same, and the quantum drive we upgraded, but you don't have to do that. And this is the total DPS with all powered weapons, 863, which isn't bad, we have 27k of missile damage, which is great. So let's take this bad boy out on some bounties and see how it does. And this is the pirate variant. You get this when you uh, complete Vandal Swarm. Shoutouts to Shadow Spectre 11 and Squirrel Lord Gaming for helping me get that badge. All right, here we are. Oh, I think we got a reclaimer. Uh oh, now we really need to punch above our weight class. I hate they put these in these bounties. We're gonna do it though. Let's go. I gotta take out his wingman first. Learning to try and not like fly fast and blow by these guys. I wanna keep them in front of me. Oh, some countermeasures. I wanna see how long these shields last too. Ooh, okay, let's go right behind them. This thing turns like a dream, man. I might have to use the Gladius a lot more often. Alright, flip around. We're over an outpost with some that have turrets. We're gonna have to watch out for that. If we get too low, they're gonna start shooting at us. Target down. All right. Let's put our big firepower on this big boy here. Now, what I like to do when you get reclaimers is just try and stay underneath it to avoid the top cannons because they are size like fives, I believe. You don't want to get hit by that. So I try and just stay underneath it and keep hitting it in its belly. Hopefully, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I was hoping the ground turns. Whoa, whoa, all right, his wingman's got me. Let's go take him out. What's he flying? He's in the Gladius as well. Oh, oh, that was close. That was close. Now I see how Gladius is just flip around on me like that, because this thing is nimble. This thing might be a little bit more nimble than the arrow. I doubt it, but I'm just saying that's how it feels. Even even down, even looking down, I'm still keeping up with him. I don't even have to flip over. It's so fast, it's hard for me to get shots on target. All right, but he's dead. I think we could go at the Reclaimer now. Like I said, there's an outpost down there. Maybe we could get a little help from it. Take out this big boy. Because gladiuses really aren't meant for these big ships like this. Oh, and the outpost. Yeah, they're shooting it. So let's just help it shoot it on its body, on the, on the belly. We'll have to swing underneath this thing. I don't want the turrets to start shooting me. Let's fire off some rockets at it. I don't think I have enough rockets to take this thing out, but let's try. Oh, I forgot to load extra missiles. To load extra torpedo pods, you just have to hit G while you're in missile mode, and you can launch up to four. Alright, got him. Every little bit helps, I guess, against this thing. I got size two weapons. It's gonna be hard to punch through its shields. I was expecting to fight fighters. 
as you see, we took the Gladius out like pretty easy. Gladiuses have been, you know, hard. Uh, not hard, but a little bit more challenging as of late. And we took that thing out quick. All right, I'm about to blow through all my missiles. I forgot. I gotta. You gotta load them up again when you switch missiles. Let's just continue. Let's waste all our rockets. To do as much damage as we can. We have 27k damage with our missiles if they all hit. So. I don't think that's enough to destroy a reclaimer, but it can do damage to it. All right, let's just keep hitting its belly. Oh man, they've been putting. I don't know why this is a bounty. Even the, the ground turrets been shooting them. I've been shooting them for at least a good five minutes. I'm just gonna keep peppering them. Eventually, he'll fall. That's why it makes these uh, higher bounties harder to do in smaller ships. But if you just keep fighting, you see his back is already red. If you just keep hitting his back, he'll eventually, he'll eventually bust out here. The ground turns hopefully keep hitting him. That'll be good. But uh, sometimes he flies out of range. He's been flipping over a lot. He's keep trying to keep his body away from him so he can get his turns at him. Oh, we got him. Finally. Finally. Right. Yeah, so that's my Gladius build for you. I mean, I don't know. I mean, we could take our reclaimers. It's just going to take an extra time, extra minute. But uh, if you want to keep it to MRTs and, you know, HRTs, you definitely could do it. And it's so nimble. It's so great. I like it nimble. It's nice. Well, that's all I got for you on this week's Bounty Guide. If you found this video informative and entertaining, don't forget to smash that like button and share with your fellow star citizens. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and just join the Discord. In the month of July, we have a giveaway for a 100 i starter package, shipping game. Simply subscribe and leave a comment on any video this month to participate. Well, thanks for listening. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Y'all know what to do already. I'll see you in the verse. Peace.